everyone, Kimberly Berg here in the Rebel Fit Club. Today we're going to be talking about that one side that seems to be more symptomatic when you have Parkinson's. It might be rigidity, it might be tremor, it might be stiffness through the neck, the arm, your chest. It just doesn't seem to want to respond like the other side. Maybe both of them are affected, but one always seems to be a little bit worse. So I came up with this exercise the other day with a client, it helped her, and now we've been using it in the class. So I'd like to show it to you today. It's one that you can do many times throughout the day, and the more you practice it, the better you feel. So you're going to first take the less effective side. So this is gonna, might feel stronger, but with Parkinson's we know that sometimes it's not that it's not strong, it's just it doesn't get the input. So. This is the one that seems stronger. It's gonna go on your stomach first. Then you're gonna place the one that's problematic on top of it. And I want you to really splay out your fingers. Okay, so fingers are out as far as you can. You're gonna be really good posture. You're gonna breathe in. And as you exhale, you're going to, with the stronger one, lift, lift, lift that one that seems to be giving you the most problems. Keep those elbows high and try to get it over your head. Break away and then start over again. Breathe in, lift, lift, lift. Push up with the bottom hand. Let the other one kind of go for a ride and around. Third time, breathe in. Exhale, you can even follow your hands with your eyes. It would give your neck a little bonus here and around. It helps your shoulder blades with the glide. It helps open up this tight chest area, getting that shoulder mobility and really working that posterior chain. Now, one of the things you have to be careful of is when you are lifting your hands, if you have limited mobility, and we always wanna keep things pain-free, so only go up as high as you can without pain. But if you're only able to come up here, that's where I want you to stop. But a lot of people think they're lifting their arms higher by going into their low back. Well, to avoid that, you can go into a little bit of a squat and then do the lift. And this is, it, it helps so it's, you're less likely to go into your low back if you have your hips behind you. So lifting up this way. That is my quick hit for today. I want you to try it. Give me some feedback. You can contact my email at Kimberly at rebelfitclub.com. Let me know how the exercise worked for you. I'm so thankful that so many of you reach out to me. Go to our website also at rebelfitclub.com. There's a questionnaire. You can tell me a little bit about yourself and your symptoms. I'm happy to get back to you. Also, check out our website for our classes. We have live in-gym classes. I have several locations. We are open. And we have our very popular virtual classes. They're all live, not pre-recorded. And if you live outside our area, this is a great way for you to participate and see all the cool things we're doing. So as always, thank you so much for listening and go forth and conquer.